in this SOLIDWORKS tutorial we will see how to use shell command so this is the object is there I want to shell so from here you can give the shell command shell then here you have to define the thickness this will be the thickness of the remain material suppose I give it as 1 mm then here you have to select the faces to remove while making it hollow shell command is useful to make the object hollow so while making it hollow which surface you want to remove suppose I want to remove this bottom surface so by clicking on this tick you can see the preview so in this way it has removed that surface and remaining material it offsetted by 1 mm so this thickness is 1 mm basically so whatever thickness you are viewing here the thickness is 1 mm at the same time you can also if you use the shell offset so let's zoom it so now it has created shell inside if I say shell offset then it will create the shell offset of your material so in this way you can control the direction where that material should be added then you can also give the different thickness to selected surfaces suppose uh, the top surface here you will see that the thickness is 1 mm but for this top surface I want 5 mm thickness then just click in this area and just select this top uh, top surface and here you can give suppose I have given 5 mm so it is 5 mm thickness so here in this case you will have the thickness of 5 mm and just say accept so here you will see that it has created a hollow solid and it will have thickness 5 mm at that we can view using 2D wireframe so here you will see that here it is 5 mm thickness and remaining at all the surfaces it is 1 mm so in this way you can use shell command in SOLIDWORKS